Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over the Dallas 2020 Regionals and the meta that I think you're going to see there that has been proven to be pretty, pretty standard, standard for the expanded meta in Dallas or in the expanded format. Let's put it that way. So standard form, standard in the expanded format. So these are the decks that have been doing the best. They've been the most consistent and people have just been running away with cups, running away with leagues, and they've done real well in the recent expanded regionals that we've had. So first of all, I have a Turbo Dark. Turbo Dark is an amazing deck. It's super fast, hits lots of damage really quick, and can also handle one prize attackers pretty well with the new uh, Guzzlord from Celestial Storm. Celestial Storm, Cosmic Eclipse. Allows them to take an extra prize for everything they knock out. So one prize decks are essentially, they're all GX decks. So Turbo Dark is looking really strong. It's going to be really fast. Going to be putting out a lot of damage to hit those tag teams. Next up, I have Ultra Necrozma. This is also the one from Celestial Storm. Not Celestial Storm. Cosmic Eclipse. This um, it has an ability that says it can't attack if it, you have more than one prize card remaining, something like that. But it does 170 170 damage for two energies. And with it being a dragon Pokemon, it does. Uh, you can use double dragon energy on it. Then you use Silent Labs or Garbotoxin or something like that to get rid of that ability, so you don't have to worry about that. You can just attack straight away. 170 each turn is amazing. Next up, I have Zoro Garb. Now this is probably actually the number two slot instead of the number three, but I got it number three for now. Zora Garb is an amazing deck. It has seen a lot of play since Zora came out and Garbotoxin came out. Um, it's won countless regionals. It's won countless turn, uh, just countless tournaments, not regionals, but countless tournaments, cups, leagues, all that. It is very good. Turbo Dark or Turbo Zora GX. Of course, you get the trade ability. You get to discard a card and draw two cards. And with Garbotoxin, you get to shut down everybody's ability, putting them into a lock, and them not being able to play. Next up, number four, I have Guardian. Now, Guardian is also a pretty amazing deck. It does 150 damage for three energies, but its first attack, Fairy Song, allows you to attach two Fairy Energy from your disc, from your deck to one of your bench Pokemon. So you're able to sweep the board with energies really quick, and being able to hit weakness on Necrozmas and stuff, Ultra Necrozmas and stuff like that is amazing. Also, its second, its third attack, its GX attack, if you have six energies on board, you get to discard your opponent's hand. So it's pretty amazing that way. You can put them down to zero cards in hand while taking a big knockout for 200 damage. Also, it should keep pick uh, Zekrom and uh, uh, Reshiram and Zekrom down because it hits weakness on the Reshiram and Zekrom and should knock it out pretty quick. Plus, on top of that, Fabas and stuff like that and Giraffe Ring just take out the uh, the Reshiram deck pretty quick. Next up at number five, I have Doll Stall. Now, with Lily's Poke Doll coming out and we've got Robo Doll or Robo Stall or whatever it is in um, Expanded, you have a multiple ways of just stalling your opponent making them waste cards, they're attacking, they're killing your Pokemon, well your Robos or your Do your Lily's Pokedoll, and they're not getting any prize cards for it because they're knocking out an item instead of an actual Pokemon. But your goal there is they will be trying to stall you out of the game. This one should see a lot of play, but there are ways to counter it with things like Faba, and uh, you're able to just shut it down so they can't play item cards at all with like Seismitoad and stuff like that. So it won't be too popular, but you should see it floating around on day one, and it will probably make day two also. Things like um, Pidgeotto Stall aren't going to be as popular because they have lost, a lot of the cards have been banned and expanded like Reset Stamp, like Chip Chip Ice Axe, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, stuff like that just made those decks run, so you're not going to have to worry about that. Number six, I have Night March. Now, Night March is kind of an old deck, and it's not kind of an old deck. It is an old deck that hasn't seen a lot of play, but with all these tag teams running out, it has the potential to knock them out easily on their first turn going second and take those three prizes, being a one prize attacker. Now, it does have its drawbacks, and it can easily be countered, but I believe some people will be playing it. It's pretty cheap right now. All those cards are pretty old, so they're not hard to get a hold of, and no one's playing them, so they're not really in high demand. But I do believe we'll see some Night March in the meta this year. Number seven, I have Shocklock. So Shocklock with um, the big dog, whatever his name is, I can't remember, and uh, Raichu. Basically, they just continue looping the Raichu with the evolution spray and stuff like that and shocking you, putting you into Paralyzed so that you can't attack while putting damage on, item locking you out, I believe. So Shocklock should be a thing, we'll see. It's kind of one of the more iffy ones. Um, there's a way to get around it that's pretty easy. If you can just outspeed them, you, you don't have a problem with that. And with Turbo Dark running around, you'll be able to outspeed them pretty easily. Number eight, I have Egg Row. Now this is Execute and Rowlet G Tag Team GX. This is the one that allows you to 
it's like super growth or something like that it allows you to attack for no energies and you can basically the whole goal of it is to get your vile plumes your evolve your oddishes into vile plumes and there's two different vile plumes you either have the um, the vile plume that locks out your energies not energies um, basic Pokemon or the vile plume that locks out your item lock your items so turn one going second they're either going to lock out basics or items depending on which one they think is more important and turn three they're going to lock out your items or your basics depending on which one they locked out on their first turn and uh, so if you don't have a stage two to attack with your your game is over basically so that's what that one's going to be. It's not going to see as much play, I don't think, because it's not that hard to tech against. You know, you just put in stage two of whatever kind of type you're playing. Um, Zorark or Turbo Dark will play Weavile GX. Zorark GX, of course, is already a stage two. So there's two of the biggest decks right there, and they directly counter the the eggs. So next up, I have Trevenant. Now, Trevenant is just an amazing card as it is. Turn one, you can go straight with Evo so that you can go straight into an item lock. And if you can just keep looping by having one Trevenant on the bench and just keep looping it up if they gust, if they use like a Guzma or something like that, then you're they're constantly item locked and you just can't go wrong with the deck. Now it is a little squishy, but you're only giving up one prize. It's a whole lot less squishy than say like um um night marches. So but I do, still do think it's going to be a good deck in the uh, in the in the Dallas meta also number 10 I have buzz rock so buzzwall GX and lichen rock GX have always been a great pair together they played when they were in standard they played together great they still do the same thing in expanded only even better because we have more cards and they are direct counter to the biggest decks out there one of those being turbo dark and the other one being Zorark Garbodor being able to hit those two for weakness and knock them out is just absolutely amazing so be sure that you are going to run into somebody playing Buzzwall Lycanroc or maybe just a Buzzwall variant with a baby Buzzwall but someone will be playing it on day one and I don't I fully expect them to make it to day two also so anyway that's my take on the top 10 decks coming into the Dallas meta if you disagree with me let me know in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in Dallas